Um, this induction is probably the, the highest honor I have received for anything. Inducted in the umpire category of the Hall of Fame, Field Hockey Canada is proud to acknowledge Ken O'Connor, a trailblazer for all Canadian umpires who followed him. Ken, so happy that you're getting this award. It's about time and glad to see that the rest of the hockey community is recognizing the shoulders that we all stand on here. Among many accomplishments, Ken was the first Canadian male umpire to officiate both the Olympics and FIH World Cup. Well, I'm very, very happy for Ken. I, I, obviously, uh, he's a wonderful umpire and many other things as well. Great gentleman and an Aussie. And <laughs> Ken grew up in Melbourne, Australia, where he was introduced to field hockey at 11 years old and had been hooked ever since. I got introduced to hockey because it was the local club that was down the end of the street opposite my house. Um, and I, I think it was love at first sight. He played all throughout high school and in a club team before playing for Melbourne University. But his Australian career would be cut short amidst a new endeavor for his teaching career. In 1969, um, I moved to Canada on a three-year contract. Uh, and 54 years later, I'm still here. Ken quickly rose up the ranks as a newfound Canadian and played for the Ontario Provincial Team a year later. My introduction was simply um, going to Sunnybrook Park and uh, seeing the game being played and saying, oh, can I join in sort of thing. During his playing career, he also rediscovered his passion for a role that would end up defining his legacy in Canadian field hockey. I started umpiring um, in, before I left Australia. Um, there was a lot of encouragement for clubs to develop umpiring, so we were generally encouraged to, to try umpiring, um, which I did, um, and, and enjoyed it. And uh, when I came to Canada, I saw myself as both a player and an umpire. And then over time, transitioned to seeing myself as an umpire who played a little. Ken's umpiring journey came at a perfect time for Canadian field hockey as his success in the role was a natural fit. It, uh, it changed the umpiring game a little bit in, in Canada, having, having Ken there and uh, we got away from a, a little bit more of a, uh, an amateur approach to umpiring. His dedication to his craft was insurmountable. He was always very concerned that his umpiring was top quality, not only from the perspective of knowledge of rules and application of rules, but also he had great empathy for the players, the, the spirit of the game. That reputation then snowballed into a historic moment for Canadian umpiring in January 1984. I was at an indoor tournament at York University, and I can't remember exactly who it was that told, told me, but it was somebody um, who was at a fairly high level in Canadian field hockey that I had been appointed to the Olympics. And that was just an amazing moment. Uh, up to that point, uh, we hadn't had an umpire in, in the Olympics. So to be the first one was, was very special. If Ken had not been at that level uh, er earlier in the game, that many of us coming up uh, might not have, we might have had a few raised eyebrows or a Canadian coming into the system on the men's side. Ken, in essence, broke, broke the water for us, for the rest of us coming through. In the years to come, Ken would continue to excel in his craft as he also umpired in the Pan American Games. Years later, he also became the first Canadian umpire to officiate the FIH World Cup in 1990. Knowing that it, I was close to the retirement age, I decided that it was appropriate to say, okay, this is going to be the end of my international umpiring. And so I decided and announced before the World Cup that I was retiring after the World Cup. After his international retirement, Ken would continue to umpire in Canada for another 23 years before fully stepping back in 2013. Looking back on his career, Ken and those who knew him are proud of how he trailblazed the path for Canadian umpires and for his dedication to being the best umpire he could be. I would be surprised if there's anybody who wouldn't have a very high regard for what he has done. If I decide it's something I want to do um, throughout my life, I've stuck at it and always um, tried to be the best that I could possibly be. And you know, when I, when I say that, it's not because 
I want to be especially praised or acknowledged for that because I did it because I enjoyed it. I did it because I loved doing it. Ken should be remembered as an umpire who was at the top when no other Canadian male umpire was. And that made a difference to everyone else coming up through the system generation after generation after generation.